There was one good thing that a very wise manager told me once, not too long ago, is players are not getting paid to play. Players are getting paid to win. And that's the mentality that I'm coming here with. So we, listen, we are talking right now about, about goals for the next season where we don't even know yet who's going to be our right back, who's going to be our striker. But I'm, I'm pretty sure with, with, uh, with the people in place right now, the management, what their goals are to be competitive, to be on top, to be a top club in the MLS, that they will also recruit in that manner. So the ambition is to be a top club. Putting the team together is, is a privilege that, that you only have once when you start a club. But now it's about putting the right puzzle pieces together. And, and I know they will. But you can have the best team. Honestly, you can have the best names. If they don't function together, you have nothing. So it's all about, all about what I said before. The camaraderie, create, creating a great environment. And the way I, I experienced the environment now in those days where I was down was very similar to Leicester, which, which was creating a family around the club rather than, okay, next, next. We're not numbers. We are, we are people with needs. And, and that's how you want to be treated. And then you're willing to give that. What I expressed to Soren is that I definitely will be there fit. Um, we are literally on the phone every day to figure out the best schedule for me. Um, worst case scenario, what, what I've put in place already, because I'm, I'm, I'm aware that you know it's, it's six months until the start of the preseason. If I don't have a club where I can play and get my match time and trainings, especially to keep myself fit, um, I've already prepared that I can go back to England, go back to Leicester and train with them. Um, but... Again, right now we are, hold on, it's June 8th. So my plan is to, to, to rest. It has been uh, a very long one and a half seasons uh, with Leicester. So my body needs some, some, some rest time now until the end of June at least. Um, and then I, I really don't know where I stand right now with everything. A lot of conversations going on. But I'm, I'm, I'm eager to explore them and I'll, I'll see what happens. Um, it's not clear at the moment the, the goals are ambitious um i think it's always you're always in a nice position when you literally can put a team together from scratch um that fits your your own ambition and and i want to be a leader in that in that club i want to be well now i have to, to call myself old again but i want to be the veteran who who is not only there to to play but really helps the younger generation of players um the, the talent that will be on board uh, to excel. And yeah, it's, it's, I cannot tell you how excited I am. I mean, it's, it's still six months until we can finally start, but uh, having been down, down in Charlotte just made me more anxious in touch with uh, Soran and with Steve Walsh, who's working for, for Charlotte uh, as a consultant for quite a long time already. Um, Steve Walsh, I you know from my past that, at Leicester, who who scouted me for Leicester, and then uh, obviously signed me with uh, with Nigel Pearson, and you know it doesn't take a lot to convince me when Steve Walsh is involved, uh, because so, so far he has given me a lot of pleasure in my career, and uh, when he's telling me, listen, this is something legit, this is something very good that that's growing in Charlotte, that's uh, going to enter the MLS, that's all he needs to tell me. Um, then we're just about figuring out the circumstances between. Uh, what I needed to learn between the MLS and the player. Uh, that's new for me. Um, but it was, it was very easy. It was, um, I was convinced very easily, say it that way. That was the easy conversation. Being, being in the US is, was uh, the easy part. The hard part was that when I signed for Leicester in 2015, I signed for three years and I said, in 2018, I'm home. Well, it's 2021 now. So that was the hard, that was the hard convincing part. It was so easy. It, me, my, sorry, my wife was always very simple. She was the one who said, you need to go there. So she had to commit. To be too prone to injuries or not having too many major injuries. I, I was lucky I had, I had two, um, but they were in my, in my 20s. Um, I was lucky enough to really train for the last five, six, seven years very hard with the team, um, not having any injuries, knock on wood. Um, and... and you know, it, it's also the, the feedback that I got from Brendan Rogers over the last two years that he always said, listen, you're strong, you're running strong. Um, 
you can you can at least play three four more years so i'm very confident i'm, I'm taking care of my body and like i said then it's about the good nutrition being professional know when to work hard but also know when to recover i mean i i know my body i know what it needs uh to extend to prolong my career as, as long as i can i mean i love that sport and i want to be involved as much as i can as a player but i also want to be involved even later on 